Welcome back to Hannity. A Muslim parent in Michigan is outraged over flyers given to students in schools promoting an Easter egg hunt at a local church. The quote extravaganza flyers, which you can see right there on your screen, detail a day of activities such as an egg hunt, relay races, egg toss being held at a local Presbyterian church. My next guest, a Muslim father, says passing out these flyers in school is a violation of the U.S. Constitution, specifically separation of church and state. Now, the pastor of the church, as well as the school district, have both said this is not a religious event, just a day of activity for the community. Joining me now is the parent and attorney, Majed Mugni is with us, and the co-host of The Five, Bob Beckel. What's your complaint here, Majed? Mr. Mr. Hannity, I just love how mainstream media puts a twist on the story. First of all, you probably got the wrong well, fish in your audience. If you're trying to sit here and try to get a Muslim to come up in front of you and tell you how radical we are, you just picked the wrong Muslim. The Muslim in front of you, sir, is one Why are you so hostile? Why, why are you so angry? All hostile. I did was ask you why you're the against Muslim it. The Muslim in front of you... Well, let me, let me tell you why the media has put a nice spin on the story. Why don't you stop whining like about it and tell us why you're complaining? What's the big deal? Just I asked you to tell you, us. I'm gonna, I'm going to tell you right now. Good, the story finally. is, I'm a parent. You have a church who's decided to pass out flyers to seven and nine-year-old elementary school kids and invite them to a church event. Well, I have a problem. They said it's if not a church, church event. It's an Easter egg hunt. So what? It's in it's distributed so by a church. If that church if that church wants to invite my kids, they can come through the front door, knock on my door, and say, "We'd like to invite your kids." They don't have to stick what? a flyer is inside that my kids' over backpack. A, of, of a stupid in, Easter egg hunt? Do you got to be kidding me? I'm I'm not outraged. Like I said, Mr. Hannity, you, you seem picked outraged. the wrong. You fish. seem angry. You picked the wrong fit. You know why I'm outraged? Why I'm are outraged you outraged? Because every time. Every time um, Arab Americans stand up for our rights, you guys you hide guys. the story you and you don't show it. Who's you guys? The entire media. The, the entire, entire media. media. Now, the entire yes, media. When I stood up again, when I stood up for four Christians in Durban who were falsely arrested, what did you guys do? Did you guys cover right. the story? No, I held a protest. I paid money out of my own pocket. I stood they up for four Christians. They have relay races and who were egg falsely, toss. Who relay were falsely races and egg toss and an Easter egg hunt. They were it, falsely arrested, and, you're, you're, and you guys didn't cover the story. You're flipping out. You're I losing your up. mind. Right. I'm and not Bob flipping Beckel. up. I well, stood up and I held a protest. I had a protest against could, terrorism, and you know. If I could just interrupt here for a second, the. Uh, I'm, I'm delighted to hear that you stood up for the Christians because it has been appalling to me that the Muslim community, both in the United States and certainly overseas, the presidents of every Muslim nation, the radicals certainly, but the mainstream Muslims, supposedly moderate Muslims, have said nothing. When children get bombed at uh, Boston Marathon, when the coal gets blown up, when the World Trade Center, nothing is ever said. And the only thing you can conclude from that is most Muslims are either a, a complicit in it, they agree with what these radicals are doing, or they're cowards. Because they, not an imam, not a single imam has stood up or a cleric and said, I'm sorry for what's happened. And I you're stood the first one in the world media. I congratulate you. I stood up and thank you. And I stood up in front of the world media and I said, I'm an American. If you want to kill Americans, you terrorists. When the terrorists came and they wanted to blow up a bomber, uh, an airliner in front of the heads of Detroit, I stood up in front of the world and I well, said, if you want to kill Americans, I'm American. Kill me first. Okay, well, educate if you want to bomb Americans, me. I'm an think, American. Why do you think the rest of them are not being, are being so silent? Are they afraid? Because the media does not give us the attention we need. You, the only reason you guys have me on this show tonight is because you want to make me look like a fool. Well, I'm not a fool. And let, let me tell you something else. I'm a very educated attorney, and this is what this country needs, educated Muslims that you guys need to put on Mr. in front Mr. of you. Mugi. Listen, Mr. listen, Mr. I Mr. paid $300,000 in taxes nobody's, this year. Nobody, I probably invited you on a lot of families. Story. You, you, you came on here attacking. Uh, because you guys... What do you mean, you, you guys? guys? I'm giving you media, a voice if you stop media. attacking. All right, let me go back I, to Bob. Thank let me you, go back to Mr. Bob Hannity. Here. Thank you for giving me the You're voice. You're very welcome. Because the media, the media is not giving the truth. The truth is, I love okay. this country. I love Christians. Did I say I anything? Stood for I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And you guys, and I, and I, I thank you, Mr. That. Hannity, for, for finally once giving a, a Muslim the, Excuse the, the chance me. to tell I, the story. Mike Gauss is on my program all the time, radio and TV. I don't know what you're talking about. I invite people on from all different points of view. I, Bob, I want to ask you I, this. Like I said, Is this I reaction over the top on the Easter egg hunt? It's not a religious event, egg roll, all this stuff. To me, it's silly I, if people... I think, I think the kind of passion this gentleman has uh, it, it, that he directs at the anti-Christian movement 
have been among Muslims, is exactly the right place, not an Easter egg hunt. I only wish that we were more. I mean, I, I've looked for them, and I've been on this case for a year. I have yet to see, as I said again, an imam or a cleric or a moderate Muslim leader stamp up for Christians who are being killed in the Middle East, and that makes them cowards. All right, we're going to end it there. You know, and I I'll hope you don't end it. I hope you let me finish. I really do. All right, well, one I'll give you one last sentence. Go ahead. You know, when I stood up in front of the world media and I said, you want to kill, Amer you want to kill uh, Americans, come kill us first. Well, guess what I got? I got a phone call the next day from a guy who said, from another Muslim from Ireland, who said he would put a bullet in my head for standing exactly. up against exactly. well, that's another Bob's Muslim. Point, I think. And, and, and I've gotten the same and, threats and, and Bob why, has too. That's exactly and right. You know I'm not surprised the you FBI, got that. The best right, I got to go. And, Guys, and, and, we're on a hard break. I, 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 I'm just out of time. I'm not cutting anybody short. Coming up.